had it really bad. Luckily, it didn't take me out. You just heard there from Jeff Wilson. He's dedicated his life to keeping others healthy as a nurse practitioner. But recently, the roles were reversed after COVID-19 forced Wilson to spend more than two months in the hospital. Now, I spoke with him about his journey home and how even though he's back, his life is not back to the way things were before that virus took hold. For the better half of 64 days, Jeff Wilson had only physicians and his thoughts to keep him company. My primary care said I was the unlucky 1%. The 57-year-old spent the majority of that time fighting for his life in Erlinger's COVID ICU. The rest recovering in another hospital unit. There's times that I would have been thankful if God would just take me on. Because it's kind of hard. But it wasn't Jeff's time. He's now back in Ottawa recovering. I guess I meant to stay around for a little longer. He may be home, but he's not home free. Oxygen runs through these tubes nearly round the clock. Most days, he says, he gets out of breath just walking to the door. It's just day by day. Jeff knows the COVID recovery process all too well. Before he became a patient, he treated them. Some nurses, they say, oh, I guess it's rough. Uh, you, you have the knowledge and you know what's going through. He's a nurse practitioner and has been in the medical field for more than two decades. A job that requires him traveling door to door to treat patients. Some houses are, you know, you walk 10, 20 feet and sometimes they're in apartments and you got to go up the second flight of steps. There's no way I could do that right now. Are you going to hold your job? They are so far. Jeff has a long road to full recovery. For now, he's taking in the small comforts only home can provide. Uh, sleeping in my own bed, not being woke. Somebody waking up to stick me or give me a pill or something. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> he's hoping to spread this message to the Tennessee Valley's most critical COVID-19 patients. It's tough, but don't give up. Now, later on this week, Jeff is speaking with his doctors about the possibility of a lung transplant. Now, he's not certain he'll need one at this point, and he's praying that's not the case.